good morning. This is uh, March the 24th, 2009. It's about 8.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That puts us at about uh, 12.45 Zulu. And uh, I'm currently approaching the uh, Gulf of St. Lawrence from Bangor, Maine. Took off from there about uh, 7.30 this morning. Uh, woke up at 5 with the intention of getting off by 6 or 6.30, but uh, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, tried to use the new customs EAPIS, the electronic uh, system for transiting borders, but uh, was not to be. Uh, could not get it to work, so uh, I filed a typical plan and uh, used can pass and uh, making my way to Goose Bay this morning. So we're flight level 250, and uh, it's gotten a little bumpy. Started out quite smooth with uh, pretty stiff winds. Uh, it was 45 knots right on the nose in the climb, which was jeopardizing <coughs> this mission. It's about 607 nautical miles from Bangor to Goose Bay. We did uh, elect for the super top this morning, but uh, couldn't seem to get much more than 120 gallons in there. Uh, it was pretty windy and cold on the ramp, and uh, number one pilot, your favorite uh, pilot instructor, forgot his wool hat, so... Uh, yeah, it's uh, 782, Terminal 1192. Well, we're uh, bouncing along here at flight level 250, and uh, we got a little ice, uh, really just the condensate forming on the... Uh, on the window here, it's the, uh, the trials and tribulations of high altitude flying. It's a minus four zero degrees outside. Now, I have put Prist in the fuel. Yes, you can and should use Prist in aviation gasoline uh, when the temperatures are going much below 30, below, and uh, I tend to use it anytime I'm up in this neck of the woods because it's always that cold up here. Uh, so. Uh, do buy the low flow, uh, it's called Prist High Flash Low Flow, it has a blue label, comes in an 8 ounce bottle. Unfortunately, not many of my colleagues use it, so it's a little hard to find. But uh, Prist, the company, was very uh, aggressive and helpful in getting me a couple of cases for the trip. So, uh, we're running uh, about, uh, let's switch the engine page here, let's see what we're doing. 29 inches, uh, 2440 RPM. I tried to get that back to 2400, but uh, the cable is frozen, so I'm just going to leave it be. Uh, oil temperature 161 and uh, pressure is 67 psi, and uh, everything else uh, temperatures are all well within limits. Uh, so we're you know just bouncing along here on our way to to Goose Bay, and uh, I'm enjoying the ride except for the bumps. It's a nice cold day, so we're getting plenty of airspeed to 2,000 and, uh, correction, 209 knots true airspeed against uh, a headwind of about 16 knots, now 15 knots. So as we move further north, that's shearing off and uh, any challenge getting in. My next challenge will be once we get to Goose Bay to uh, get a super top on the fuel and uh, make sure that the winds favor the crossing. I'll probably get as far as NARS. Narsasawak today, uh, I may go ahead and try for uh, Reykjavik tonight as well, so we'll see how it goes. Well, thanks for joining me, and uh, hope you're enjoying your flying. I sure am enjoying mine up here in the sunny, warm Canadian skies. Have a nice day. This is Dick Rochefort. Uh, fly safely. Train often.